walk right up to it. Try to get a nice All right, and you're getting a little further out there, buddy. I'm going to bring you back in because you're right at boot height. Oh, in fact, you're over boot height because now I got water in my boot. That might be it. This is a unique day, not because I'm flying this in the water and ice. <laughs> That's unique to itself. This is solar eclipse day and we're in the Adirondacks in New York. I figured, okay, not rough water, but it is a lake. So we're going to try flying the DJI Mini 4 Pro under these conditions. I've got the helicopter pad just in case, but I want to take off and land in the lake get up, fly around, see what we got, and then come back. Oh, I just realized there's some trees I gotta worry about up there. So let's go and risk my quadcopter in this lake. You don't get a better day than this, and you don't get a better situation than this, and I'm putting it in the lake. You can see the ice is starting to thaw, it's pretty darn cold and I don't want to lose this thing. So I've got 21 satellites. I'm updated. I am absolutely near nothing. All right. So there you saw the water take off. And I'm definitely going to record this. Now it's just going up straight. Hamilton County Jail. I don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm not going to be taking any jail pictures. This is a fantastic view. Sixty feet. Now I'm just going to do a rotation so you can kind of get a sense of the area here. Seems to be struggling a little bit. Let's go out. Kind of know how deep this water is. It's very cold and I just don't want to go and try to retrieve it. And you'll see where I'm landing. So that's the ice. And that's the water. Crystal clear up here. So let's go down and we'll do another rotational view where you can see a little further down. Let's get the horizon in there and I'll just do another pivot here since I seem to have plenty of time. So there's the camps. A mix of old and new. Not urban at all. Okay, so now we're going to take it and bring it down. And so let's change the attitude more level with the horizon. And we're going to bring it down and attempt to land it in the water. Landing. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that. So upward stick. Doesn't want to come down for some reason. Houston, we got a problem. Okay. Let's bring it back a little bit. Let's bring it over to the side a little bit. It's starting to come down, and I'll rest the landing when I get a little closer. It's very temperamental. It's a little, okay, stop. Rest landing. Okay, so now we're about, you can probably see, let's get this adjusted. It's trying to go up again. 
Okay, down, 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 down. Let's bring it back a little bit. Bring it back a little bit. Let's see how it does. It's in pretty shallow water. All right, official landing in the water. Not bad. Now let's see if we can take off. It is moving. Okay, it's... All right. It's noticing the trees. We're gonna rest the landing by putting up a stick. We're gonna to try to get a really good landing here. All right, and I'm not gonna let it stay there very long. That's a legit takeoff and landing in the water. And it's just kind of shifting to the side. So let's try taking off again. I'm gonna fly it out. It seems to be a little left pontoon heavy. Point it down a little bit so you can see where I'm at. So this is the beach where we're taking off from. That's me. Hey, how's it going? You know, it's a little crazy because you sit there and you go, how far do I push this thing? Let's get it up a little bit. I mean, I could fly over the ice if I wanted, but you know what? Just not feeling it. I'll back it up a little bit. I bring it off to the side. That's at 65 feet. I think I'm going to bring it down. All right, now I'm going to start backing it up a little closer to the shore. And a little this way. And bring it back. And I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And bring it back. And sashay to the left. Rotate. Bring it back. And just land it straight down here. Here it is. Let's get a good landing shot. There you go. And then one more takeoff and then I think we're good here. So you might be able to see there is water on the pontoons. All right, it's stabilizing at that height, 15 feet. 16 feet, it's going up just slowly. So we'll rotate here, get over here. Take, give you a little bit of a down shot on this rock. And we'll kind of zoom in a little bit. See what the zooming capability of this thing is. It's a nice little scenic thing here. We'll rotate it a little bit. Zoom in. Zoom out. This is using the thumb screw, the thumb wheel. Not bad. All right, and I'm getting a little close to this tree, so I'm going to sashay out a little bit. Bring it down. Whoa. Give you the nice scenic view. Now we're going to fall down on the... I'm in... Okay, I'm going to bring it back a little bit. A little left. Bring it back. And we'll do another landing. There you go. Now I don't think I can water taxi it. Pick this up. Out of the water, not get the controller in the water. You can see there's droplets coming off of the pontoons, but the bird is dry. Really pleased with the performance.
Learned a lot today, so let's go over some of the details. Can you fly over water? Yes. Can you land and take off on water? Yes. Would you want to have a lot of waves? Probably not. This is the ideal case. The only way I could bring it down is in landing. That was in normal mode. I'm going to do some tests since the weather's cooperating in sport mode and see if that makes any difference as far as able to control the up and down on this. This may be the first and only time a DJI Mini 4 Pro has used floats and landed on water. This may be one of the first times, if not the first time, or any DJI product. So I'm kind of breaking some ground here. I'm trying to do here in this series of videos, and if you're interested in this one, I'll post a link up here and down below where you can see the whole series. This is an unsponsored video. I'm testing this independently just to see what this can do. And I'm doing it like it's a regular flight test. For nearly 20 years, I was a flight test engineer. This thing is getting tested just like a lot of other platforms, both manned and unmanned that I've done in the past. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of crazy designs and ideas, making and breaking things, evaluations of sports gear, quadcopters, electronics, and I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know where you're going to be flying quadcopters.